Hello, everybody. Jerry Harry here talking uh, about something we don't normally talk about in trading is uh, how to get your mindset right. How to, how to create a positive mindset for positive training, I, I, trading. I think this is very important. And uh, I don't hear many people talking about it, and I'm not sure why, but I'm sure everybody could use uh, a lesson in, in what is it going to take to get me to the next level, to where I'm happy uh, with my trading and my life and, and where I want to be and what I want to have. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with wanting to have things, you know, a bigger house, a house at all. Uh, some land, uh, a wife, children, uh, friends, uh, a nice car, you know, uh, these things we all, we all strive for. We all want to try to do better. It's just human nature, in my opinion. So let's start with the basics. Uh, what are some of the secrets to, to becoming, uh, happy in your life? And I would say, uh, law of attraction dominates the universe so with that in mind law of attraction uh how do we put that into our everyday thinking to make ourselves a better person so step one would be we need to ask for what we want we need to imagine uh the story of the genie in the bottle and uh but not just three wishes but infinity amount of wishes because if we if we track back that story, it actually, it's not three wishes, it's an infinity amount of wishes. And whoever made the story up knew what they were talking about because there was a hidden meaning in it of how to get things in your life and why is it so hard to get there? So we need to start with asking for what we need. We need to uh, make that step one and then... Uh, we move on to step two, believing it. Um, this part, we really don't have to put much emphasis in. The universe will do it. If Once we ask for something, thinking about it, talking about it with others, with yourself, just talking out loud, this starts to create um, a situation where the universe starts putting things together. Now, when I was a kid, uh, I lived in Palm Springs and... Uh, Bob Hope uh, did a classic where I live, the Bob Hope classic. And I always wanted to meet him. And I had a chance to meet him when I was about 10. And, and then uh, he didn't show up at my friend's house. Like they, they were supposed to go golfing and, and with his parent. They were golfing with his, he was golfing with his parents. So anyway, he didn't show up. And so me and my friend get on our 10 speeds and go to his house, which was up on a hill. We wanted to meet him. We felt like, you know, we, we, we got ripped off and, uh, we got up there and there was a guard gate with cactus and we couldn't even see his house. So there was no guard. There was nothing. We had a, we went back home and I'd say about eight years later, I got onto a plane leaving Palm Springs to LA, a little small United, uh, two prop. It was, it was a tiny plane. It was only three seats wide. And when I got on the plane, I got on early cause I was asking about another plane with the guy. And he says, you can, load you can get on the plane early and when i get on this plane i hand the lady my my ticket and i head down and bob hope is walking to the end of the plane and and i yell out hey, bob bob hope and he looked at me and he looked me up and down and i told him no no you don't know me mr hope i just thought it was you and and i ended up meeting him and shook his hand and it just proves that you know, when you want something bad enough, the universe, some, I mean, the universe put this together perfectly for me to meet him one-on-one -on -one in the back of a plane. I mean, can you imagine? So trying to make the law of attraction happen is key. And, and, and step two is really the universe. I didn't know how it was going to happen. I didn't even know it was going to happen, but the universe put it together and it was like a miracle. I couldn't believe it. You know, like, there he is. At the, I mean, I recognized him from the back walking to the end of the plane. And, you know, that's the best part of this is step one is all you got to do is ask. Keep positive. Keep, uh, you know, in that in that place where you're happy Two, the universe puts it together. 
and then the receiving of it would be part three. And this this part might be hard for some people, but it's uh, that you basically got to be open to the feeling of joy. Like when you get something you really want and you have that feeling, that's the feeling that you need to have to receive th things that you want. So you got to keep open for, for that. And, you know, it's, it's the, it's the feeling of wonderfulness, the joy, passion, you know, these things is what attracts you to fulfilling what your life's dream is, what you want in life. And, and when you start feeling anger, despair, or fear in your life, that's a good indicator that you're not on line with your true purpose. So let's, let's just think about that for a little bit. And maybe that can help some people make some better trades by keeping more positive. Uh, things will work out. You, you want to buy the stock at a dollar and you're, you're hoping it'll go to two dollars one day. And you just keep positive about it. You don't sit and watch it. You don't worry about it. And, and, and these are the type of things that we got to think about, not just let's make a lot of money, people, you know, or I want to make a lot of money and, and or this and that. We have to think positively, like just keep on track for, for positive thinking. And I think this will help all of us be better traders. So good luck to everybody. Always a pleasure to talk to you guys. And uh, I hope you're all winners.